Hey folks, Aaron here. Welcome to day eight of the twelve days of anime. Hopefully today's video is a little less depressing. You know, last day's video per se could have been considered depressing, but it wasn't really the point of it. But I hope you guys understand the point of last week's or not last week's yesterday's video. I keep saying last week's. So that's goes to show you how used to now it is that it's like taking me every week to do videos. But with twelve days, I'm trying to see if I can act. In many ways. The reason why I took the 12 days, and it's kind of like a side note, is not just because I wanted to give it to you guys and obviously the joy, but it was, I wanted to see if I could do videos daily still, even with the workload I have. And I'll tell you right now, it goes to show you no, I can't. It's very hard to do it. It's not impossible, but I would not do daily videos anymore just because of this, because it's legit. You have no idea how hard it is for me to make sure that these videos get onto you. Besides that, it's just thing to... Have them even out on YouTube and they, they'll do all the stuff I do for it. It's just, ooh, no. So I'm not doing these videos daily. And, you know, I'm not going to do videos anymore daily probably ever again. But, you know, still I can now I can now realize at least I could do more videos per se in a week and not get so overwhelmed. So you probably will start seeing more reviews from me. And just it's just going to be more spread apart. So, like, I'll have videos come out Saturday, obviously. And then I'll have maybe a video come out Monday or Wednesday or something like that. You know, when my day's off. So I, I can do it. It's just... It's going to change up a little bit. So hopefully new series come out more often on Wednesdays. If more series come out on Wednesdays, you'll see me review episodic stuff on Wednesdays. Uh, that's just a kind of hint for the future. But anyways, besides the point, I did the same thing yesterday. I just realized that I was talking about my hair originally, I think, last yesterday's video. Now I'm talking about this. Today we're going to talk about anime music and how it is something I think in many ways can be inspirational to people. How it inspired me and how I know other friends of mine were inspired by anime music in many ways. So... What's beautiful about anime is that obviously usually they have very great soundtracks. You know, there are a laundry list of great musical soundtracks. I mean, you can look at stuff like ReZero has a great opening. Uh, Gurren Lagann's music is phenomenal. Um, Razafon has some great music. Your Line April has some awesome music. Klanad has some awesome music. Uh, what else? It's just, oh, it's just too many shows. There are, and there are shows like K-On! and stuff like that where you actually have musical concepts being thrown into the mix of the show Hibiki Inforium is a great example of some awesome music and awesome OST in general too but and I've never even seen the whole series but I just listened to music before it's really good but what's funny is that I don't think many of you guys realize when anime came out to, to the west and way back when like in the 80s and 90s when you start seeing it more often you know it, it came out earlier it came out in the 60s and shit but it was it was more focused like in the 80s a lot of music was changed to fit the American audiences. Like you would see, like for example, I talked about it in uh, I think one the the guy video I did for like was day three or four or whatever one of the video that came out. Um, I've lost track of certain days. <laughs> the the music in Guyver was Americanized when it came out in, in in the West. They changed the whole opening, made this this kind of like heavy metal rock version. It was god awful. I I hate. The, the, the dub version of, of the music. But if you flip the switch, it made it so it was audio Japan, so obviously you have the Japanese dub, you would have it where the music was original, and it was just godly. That song is so good. It's so much better. It's like night and day between the two songs. And a lot of shows were like that. A lot of shows changed the, the openings from America. They, they stopped doing that when anime started getting more popular in the West because they realized, okay, you know, maybe this is not the most enjoyable thing in the world. Pokemon, for example, yes, the opening for Pokemon is amazing. It's it's great. You know, I want to be the very best. That that song's amazing. I'm not gonna say any more of it because I don't want to get copyright stuff, but <laughs> which could happen. But the thing is that it was it wasn't the original Pokemon opening. The the Pokemon opening is a Japanese uh, song that's actually being done, and it's a whole different thing entirely. And there's other examples of that too. Yu-Gi-Oh, for example. You know, what actually made, made me a little bit la like made me laugh a little bit was the Japanese really loved the opening music for Yu-Gi-Oh though, so they did use it, I think even the movies, you could actually hear, hear it a few times, but it's not the original one. And they did it for a lot of shows like that, so it's interesting to say. But music for me has inspired me in ways, many ways because anime music is so powerful. I, I think that, it's not like, I'm not saying American music's not popular too, or powerful and so right. There's a lot of songs I love in America, and there's a lot of songs that I've listened to in my life. I'm one of those people that I actually love listening to all types of music. I've listened to stuff from, from like India. I've listened to music from J Japan. Obviously, I've listened to music from China, from Korea. I've listened to music from the Philippines. I've listened to music from the uh, South America. You know, like Brazil, and um, I've listened to music from. You know, I'm not saying South America and Brazil. I'm saying just like music from South America, from Brazil, from you know Puerto Rico. I've listened to music all over the place in the world, and what's really cool 
is that there's this very empowering thing about music where you know music can really make you do things that you never thought you could or maybe make you get up and do something that you didn't think you were going to do that day uh, there's a lot of times where if i didn't want to go to the gym or if i didn't want to go for a run i'll listen to some song and I'd be like you know what i feel like going and i would just get up and go um when I think it was the series Run, uh, Run with the Wind, it's the, the series still airing currently, um, and I apologize if the names are not right, but it's on way behind, so I've only seen like three or three episodes of it so far. But Run with the Wind it was so good because when I first watched the first episode, and I saw the guy running, and I felt that that concept because I'm, a, I'm I actually like to run. I know I'm a big guy, but I do love running. Um, when I saw episode one, I got up, put my sweatpants on, and actually went out for a run. It was like I think. I want to say it was like almost 8 o'clock at night, but I, I went out and went out to the boardwalk that I, that's near me and started running. And, I, and before I knew it, it was almost two miles I went back and forth. And I was like, I just love that feeling. That, that when, you, when you run, especially, it's got this great feeling to it. Even when I'm writing, as you guys know, I, I write a lot. And if, it's also part of my second job. But the thing is that when I, there are times where I get to this rut or I'll be like, oh, I don't know what to say next. And... I'll, I'll step away from my computer for a little bit and maybe think and sit down and be like, yeah, what could, I, what could I write next or how could I word this in a better way? I tend to go and listen to Japanese music. I don't listen. I'm not even, I'm not even just saying music in general. I mean Japanese music specifically, stuff from anime. And I will tend to listen to all these different songs and be like, oh, I got an idea. And then I start writing. And then just before I know it, I'm, I'm going through the flow again. It's weird. It's But it's so cool because there's plenty of great soundtracks in, in anime that really just empower you um and some of my favorite like composers like Hiroyuki Sawano obviously does some amazing amazing music oh my god Hiroyuki Sawano is just awesome probably one of my favorites um you have Flo for example Flo is amazing too um I want to say what's her what's her name Lisa Lisa's great and I I'm feel like I'm butchering people's names like I'm trying to think of other names and I just all of a sudden can't remember but there are so many great composers and I think that really what's so cool about anime music is that it does have that power to make you just want to go up and do things. So for me, in life, I, I think anime music has definitely inspired me to like when I'm when I'm at my lower points, if I'm like just in not a great mood or if I'm really just need some energy to go do something or if I'm like tired and I feel like, ah, I just want to just relax and chill for a little bit. I listen to Japanese music a lot. I listen to a lot of American music too. I actually listen to a lot, you know, a lot of classics. I'm more into like '80s and '90s of music than I am with the more modern stuff. But the thing is that I love all music of all times, and, and but anime music has really done something that I think a lot of other songs they really just couldn't do, and they really make you they they fill you up with emotions, even if you don't understand what they're saying. I think that's the coolest thing about it is that nine times out of ten, a lot of people listen to Japanese music don't understand a whole lick of what they would say. I don't care if you go, oh, I speak Japanese. Or, no, no. There's a lot of people, if you don't speak native Japanese and if you don't, you know, don't live in Japan or if you don't even just, if you're not really well versed in Japanese culture, music is very different than what it is in America. America, we can understand music because we understand what, the, what they're saying, you know, the concept they're trying to go for, the quotes they make, the uh, the homages to certain things or the, the metaphors they use. In Japanese music, if you listen, if you look at the subtitles, a lot of times subtitles are butchered of what they say, you know, so it's not always accurate or it's, it sounds kind of weird because the wording isn't there or... They have things flipped around, but I think the powerful thing is that you could listen to a Japanese song and be like, I understand what they're trying to say, or I feel the emotions that they're trying to display to me, even though I can't understand what they're saying. And I think that's just so cool. I, I believe that truly, it's one of those things that just captivates me about music and, and anime and stuff like that, where it, it makes you feel something that a lot of other music just can't do. So, for today's question at the end of the video, very simple one. What is a song that you listen to to make you do something? So what I mean by that is, what, is there a particular song that like just makes you want to go do this or that? And what does it make you want to do? So like for example, if you listen to a Hiroki Sawano music, a song, you know, like we'll say the Recreators opening, because that's freaking godly. If you listen to the Recreators opening, one or two, it's because both of them are godly. You know, does it make you want to then go out for a run? Does it make you want to go to the gym? Does it make you want to just go relax and just you know, lays about the house. What does it make you want to do? That's what I'm curious about. Anyways, I will see you guys for day nine. I hope you guys enjoy that one. And then day 10 will also come out, obviously, the following day. And day 11 and 12 will be the be the worst of and the best of for in terms of 2018's anime that I've seen. So it's going to be interesting because I haven't seen a lot of stuff this year, unfortunately. I, I did see a lot of shows, but I didn't see as much as obviously I saw in 2017 because I started working and made it where I couldn't watch him as much. But 
2018, I definitely did see a decent amount of shows, and I want to show, I want to talk about which one's my favorite and which one's the one I just went, oh, this is terrible. So, hope you guys enjoy. We're almost at the end of these videos, folks. I really hope you join them all. You know, let me know in the comments below too if you want if you want to talk about that. See you guys later. Bye bye, everyone.